guys, my name is Sarah, and today I want to show you the LuLaRoe Anna dress. Our Anna dress isn't just comfortable, but it's also modest, of course, and it's available in sizes extra small to 3X. It comes in a variety of different styles, whether it's a solid that you're looking for, which are a little bit harder to find, so snag one if you see it, or one of our amazing prints, which helps to hide a multitude of imperfections with that busyness in the print. Sometimes you can even see color blocked Annas where the bodice is a different color than the skirt or even the separate color trim around the collar and the sleeve. Regardless of the print or the color, the Anna is going to make you look and feel amazing. If you've been worried about or intimidated by this dress in the past, don't be. You are going to love it. Uh, if you do feel a little bit more self-conscious up top, you can try pairing your Anna with a button-down chambray shirt or even a button-down plaid shirt, just like you see here, which is going to give you a little bit more coverage in the center and the arms. And if not, you can always pair it with a Sarah Cardigan or a Monroe or even one of our Lindsay's to give you a little bit more layering and coverage as well. My personal favorite is the Monroe. It's extremely hard to find a Monroe in a lace uh, material. Normally they come in a chiffon. So if you see one, definitely grab it. This is my personal favorite here. I love this top. And you just put it on, obviously. Most people think that the lace is going to snag really easily or possibly uh, tear, but I'm really hard on all of my clothes and I've never had an issue. So this again is just another look, a little bit more coverage with it. And obviously there's also the Lindsay, another personal favorite. Aren't these colors amazing? I love these. If you are sizing the Anna dress, you want to size based on the bodice. As you can see, the only portion of the dress that is fitted is the actual bodice. So if you wear a size 8, 10 pants, but you're a small top, you're going to want to go with a small Anna dress. And on the other hand, if you wear a medium large shirt, but you are a 4, 6 in the pants, you're going to want to go with a medium Anna dress to cover that area up top. Your chest is going to be what takes up a lot of the fabric. So if you are taller, you may have to size up one just to get you a little bit more length. And if you're shorter, you can go down one. And because of the amazing stretch polyester blend that we use, you can do so. If you find that it's a little bit sheer in the chest area, that means you've gone down too small and you want to go up a size. Typically, if you're 5'5 five, five or above is when you're going to want to size up for height. And normally, if you're like 5'3, five, 5'4 five, area, you shouldn't have to size down. So I'd say around 5'1, five, 5'2, five, you want to start sizing down. Now, if it is too long or if you just want a different look, I like this look for the beach when I'm using the Anna as a cover-up or even just to style it differently, you're going to take your ponytail holder and you're just going to bunch up this fabric right here like a ponytail and then pull it back through and create just a little knot. It's really simple, it takes up some of the length and it just gives it a different look. You can also take and do the exact same thing but on the inside of the fabric and I like doing this in the center. So I'm going to pull my dress up I'm going to gather that fabric like I did on the outside and I'm just going to place my ponytail around it. I don't know how well you can see with my hair. And again, just a totally different look. One of my other favorite looks with the Anna dress, and this is another way to get you a little bit more coverage with it, is to do kind of like what we did with the button down top, but with a classic tee. And while I have this off, I just want to show you, you can see the arms in themselves are fitted as well as the top and the waist is going to hit a little bit higher, typically right above your belly button and that is so the skirt begins and helps to hide that pesky stomach pouch so many of us have and you can see it does a really great job of doing that. Again, I'm wearing a busy print. I tend to like those more because they disguise more but I, you know, if you haven't tried it, you're going to love the way this dress makes you look. But let's say for instance you still feel maybe a little more exposed or you're not sure of that fitted bodice you're going to take an oversized tee if you don't want to use one of the other options. Another option I have here is a Sarah Cardigan too, which is always a good idea. Now I typically wear a small classic tee. In this demonstration, I'm going with a large and I'm just going to scrunch up my sleeves a little bit. You can even take and fold your sleeves, which is also pretty cute. And then you're going to take that shirt just like we did with the side of the Anna, but we're going to do that with the shirt this time. Pull it back through to knot it. And again, another look, a little bit more coverage, and still really, really cute. Just remember when you are sizing your Anna dress to keep your height in mind and your upper body, uh, if you like the Anna dress, chances are you're going to love the um, Nicole dress because it's essentially the same exact si um, style, just shorter. So you'll find with our Nicole dress, it hits right above the knee as opposed to being floor length, but the bodice is the same, and when you're sizing it, you want to take into account, again, um, your upper body. 
So I hope this helps. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you haven't tried one, talk to your consultant today about trying an Anna dress.